بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله as we mention and will continue to mention the importance of sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but for those who don't know it's very important to know that Islam to have your deeds accepted in Islam there are two criteria there's two uh, conditions so to speak that first uh, that you have sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you're worshiping Allah tabarak wa ta'ala with sincerity so it has nothing to do with your political disposition or some other uh, thing but rather uh, when you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it has to be sincerely for his sake when you pray when you fast when you give zakat uh, when you make hajj or umrah or whatever act of ibadah that you're doing strive your utmost to make your heart on the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Secondly, Ahabatifillah, is that when you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that it must be based on the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is why we say ikhlas with thabat. Ikhlas, sincerity, and thabat. Sincerity in your worship, that all of it's directed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that it is in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And the purpose of our existence is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I've not created mankind in the jinn, except for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I've not created mankind in the jinn, except for the purpose of worshiping me. Meaning the divine purpose we were created for is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, which lets us know that that ibadah must be sincerely to Allah, which is our first condition, is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ مُخْلِسِينَ then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and they weren't commanded, meaning the nations before us, the Jews and the Christians and others, they weren't commanded except to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone with sincerity. Mukhlisin. That they should be mukhlis. They should be completely sincere in their worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, associating no partners with Him. Tabarak wa ta'ala. And that means the awliya, that means the saints, it means the prophets, alayhim after the salatu wasalam, that we cannot worship anyone. We don't say Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam is the one who brought this rain. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam is the one who blessed me to have a child. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam is the one who blesses you with a wife or a husband or your rizq. La. All of this is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of the rizq, min Allah azza wa jal. And... The second point of ibadah is that it's in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ that, that when you're doing those acts of worship, they are restricted by the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. And that shouldn't be an aib. That shouldn't be something that we uh, dislike. But rather, we have to know and believe that the Messenger ﷺ is the Messenger ﷺ. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put him and delivered him, uh, give the message to him to deliver to us, and that is to be followed. And that means he is to be obeyed. And that means if we want to understand the message, we go to how he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, articulated and made it understandable or comprehensible for us, that we could, uh, uh, com compre that we, we would have a comprehension and understanding the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's why we follow the Sunnah. The Prophet ﷺ, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَأَعْتِيُوا اللَّهِ وَأَعْتِيُوا Rasul." Obey Allah and obey His Messenger. So that lets us know we need to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Of course, I don't think anyone disputes this. And we need to obey the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that means in all of the, all of the commandments, and that, in turn, fosters taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Taqwa Allah. Taqwa Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says all throughout the Qur'an. For example, Ya yulidina amanu, it taqwa Allah. 
حق تقاطه ولا ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتاب الكريم يا ايها الذين امنوا او you who believe so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing who the believers يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding you to fear him اتقوا الله and how should you fear Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned اتقوا الله حق تقاته you know with with a true full taqwa حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون and do not die except in a state of islam ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون so ahabat fi Allah we know that the thamarat or the fruits of being obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoiding his prohibitions is is your manifesting taqwa and that will increase you in taqwa in iman and so this is why it's important to know and understand those principles of worship that is based on sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it must be done in accordance with the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the fruits of that obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and obeying the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam will be that you have taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you will fear Allah tabarak wa ta'ala because you will be following his commandments and avoiding his prohibitions and we ask Allah the almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with a khlas with the bat and bless us to be of the muttaqin and forgive us for our many sins wa sallallahu alaihi wasallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wasallam